In our ports and in our airports, the UK Border Agency is fighting a constant battle against smugglers. I'm arresting you. Oh, dear me. Coming up, at Gatwick, officers take no chances with a suspicious traveller. For the duration of his time with us, he'll be monitored 24 hours a day. Sniffer dogs are put to the test in the war against drugs. See big packages of white powder coming out is a good sign that the dogs have done something right. And at least one man appreciates the work done by the border agents on the front line. Because they could have found bombs on there, right? Explosives on there. At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just come in from Port of Spain in Trinidad and Tobago. The Caribbean is a known problem area for the production and distribution of Class A drugs, and UK Border Agency officers are closely monitoring passengers as they pass through the airport. A lone male passenger has been stopped by officers. He claims to have come to the UK for a family wedding. Can I just ask you a little bit more about your... You said you're over here for your sister's wedding. Yeah. On vacation, but she told yeah. me she's getting married, so you know I will attend the same time. All right. So you had initially planned to come over here for a vacation, yeah. and then you found out your sister was getting married. Is there any other family coming from Trinidad for your sister's wedding? My mother, my mother is supposed to come up. And when is she arriving in the UK? Do Friday. you know? Friday. Friday. Do you know which airport she's coming into? This airport. She's coming into this airport. Well, this is the name of this airport, again. This, the, name of this airport yeah, the name of this airport is London Gatwick. Uh, Gatwick OK, yeah. you've flown into London yeah, Gatwick, Gatwick today. Having looked in the man's suitcase, Officer Sarah chats to colleagues with concerns about the man's possessions. The clothing, it's all manner of sizes, ranging from medium through to double XL. They're quite new bags. The shoes are not the same size. There's nothing in there that I would expect somebody to wear to a wedding. Officers working in immigration have already called a phone number the man has provided for his sister. The sister apparently has made no mention to the immigration officer of the wedding. With too many holes in the man's story and with reason to doubt the purpose of his visit to the UK, Sarah is granted permission to conduct a search of the passenger. There are some things that I'm not satisfied with um, that you've told me in terms of your reasons for coming over to the UK. Um, so for that reason, okay, um, I've had authorization to do a rub down search on you. It's going to be some of the male officers that will do the search on you. Okay, they're going to take you into a room away from the channels here, and but they'll explain to you exactly what they're going to do when they get into the room. Okay, because I want to make sure that you don't have anything with you that you shouldn't be bringing into the country. The man is led away as concerns grow that he may be a drug smuggler. To ensure all items brought into the country are legal and properly declared, UK border agency officers work round the clock at Gatwick every day. In addition, an elite group of sniffer dogs who are trained solely in the detection of illegal drugs also patrol daily. A call has come in about a discovery sniffer dog Megan has made in the cargo hold. As you see, she's just found it, and that's what she's doing. She's doing a freeze there. Yay! He's a clever girl. A clever what we've got here, basically, is a consignment from South America. As Megan's gone round it, she's indicating, because there's obviously smell coming out there. As Megan has given her award for indicating on the package, officers need to investigate exactly what it is she's found. It certainly feels like it's some sort of box, uh, probably sort of heavyweight box, which we've seen in the past with um, the pages actually sort of taken out the, the centres of the box and the drugs concealed inside. Though officers are confident drugs are present, they must wait for permission to examine the contents. In the meantime, they rebag the packages so they can be used as a training aid for other sniffer dogs. 
what we've done now, we've brought our other dogs over so we can get them live rewarded. It's probably the best training we can do is in situ with live gear. So hopefully all our dogs will come in, get rewarded on the scent, and then it just improves their abilities for later on. The introduction of sniffer dogs to the cargo hold has been extremely successful, allowing packages to be assessed in a fraction of the time. On a daily basis, we get sort of five, six tons of parcels and mail come through. So the dogs will be able to sort of do that within half hour. To do it manually, you're talking hours and hours to actually manually go through each item of mail. On this test, all three dogs successfully indicate on the packages, but officers will need to wait to see if there are Good. drugs inside. Good In the airport's north terminal, the male passenger, who has supposedly travelled to the UK for his sister's wedding, has been taken for a body search. His demeanour didn't seem right when I was talking to him at the gate. He said that basically his sister has paid half the ticket to come over here and half of the hotel booking fee. However, immigration has spoken to his sister and she said, no, I've not given him any money for the um, ticket. Um, but I am going to be paying half the hotel fee. Even though nothing is found during the search, officers still suspect the man may be smuggling drugs inside his body. A swab test is conducted on his shoes. Swallowers will often secrete traces of drugs in the sweat in their feet. And a small trace for the presence of cocaine increases their suspicion. OK, we're going to... Um... I've got to ask him if he'll go through the x-ray. Oh, OK. The man is taken to the body scanning machine to find out if he's got any packages inside him. Watch. We'll just ask you to stand on this conveyor belt like this, OK? And then when we push a button, we'll move over towards the wall, OK? Exhale. Hold your breath. Don't breathe in. Don't breathe in. Carry on breathing now. The results from the X-ray are conclusive. I think there is something there. He looks very, he looks very full up. This guy it does look very comfortable. The images on um, these screens do look like there is some kind of mass there. So it's it's quite possible that he he has got packages inside him. Sarah breaks the news to the passenger. Now, I've had a look at the X-ray images in there, OK? And I think that there may be something inside you. I think you may have swallowed possibly some packages of drugs. I'm arresting your suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Yes, sir. OK. The man is put in handcuffs and escorted to the airport's custody suite. Officers have a duty of care to ensure that the packages of drugs pass through him as swiftly and safely as possible. In due course, he'll be interviewed. Um, and for the duration of his time with us, he'll be monitored 24 hours a day. Um, and he will use a special toilet and pass the packages that he swallowed um, as nature takes its course. Since we've been in the custody suite here, um, Mr. Cruz has been into the toilet twice. Um, he's not passed any packages. So he's been put into a white paper suit in the custody suite here in the cell and then we'll be transporting him up to Heathrow in the prison van. The man was monitored at Gatwick Airport for a further three hours before being taken to Heathrow. He eventually passed 41 packages filled with cocaine. At the airport's cargo hold, Officers have been given permission to search the two bags that sniffer dog Megan indicated contained drugs. The bags are taken to the cargo officers, where it's the moment of truth. As Officer Allen predicted, the smugglers have used book casings as a disguise. There's all these different books in here. They're all uh, 
cling film wrap. But their attempt at concealing whatever's inside was no match for sniffer dog Megan's sensitive nose. The uh, book's been cut out. It's uh, quite a crude concealment. Um, obviously, it doesn't take much finding on opening that book. <laughs> See uh, big packages of uh, white powder coming out is uh, it's a good sign that the dogs have done something right. So it's a celebration time, I think. But not before the packages are tested to see if the white powder definitely is cocaine. See, it's gone blue, indicating the presence of cocaine. I'm just estimating at the moment there's probably a couple of kilos per book. Obviously, we'll weigh it and get a proper total at the end. It's a massive seizure, weighing in at over 20 kilograms and has a street value in the region of a million pounds. Officers are delighted in the knowledge that one customer will not be receiving their illegal goods. This turned out to be a good result today, so uh, well chuffed. Coming up, Officer Hazel deals with two deceitful travellers with some long stories. You told me that she bought them on different days, and now you're changing what you're telling me. You can't expect me to believe you now. Coming up, sniffer dog Bren uncovers more drugs. His indication there was uh, to freeze and to literally stare at the box. Uh, it's tested positive to cocaine. At Gatwick Airport, border agency officers are paying close attention to holidaymakers returning from Montego Bay in Jamaica. Passengers are being observed as they pass through immigration, and Officer Lorinda's attention is drawn to a white-haired male who sat on a passenger transporter. She follows him down to the luggage reclaim area and waits to intercept him as he passes through the green Nothing to Declare channel. Hello there, sir. Are you travelling on your own today? OK, can I see your passport and your tickets, please? The man says he's been working out in Jamaica for the past 10 months and has travelled back to the UK for medical treatment. You're fully aware it's illegal to import into the UK drugs, firearms and decent obscene material? Yep. OK, super. Well, I don't take drugs anyway, sorry. <laughs> Just need to check that you understand it's illegal no, to bring them in this. anyway. I'm doing this one. OK. Right, just bear with me. I'll have a look through that in a second. All right. Lorinda opens the man's suitcase to search for any illicit materials, and straight away she makes an unusual discovery. Why have you got one inside one? So you're going to fill it up whilst, whilst you're here? What kind of things are you going to be buying then? Oh, nothing really. Sometimes some tool stuff. Right. You put that one back in your bag so it's safe. Lorinda opens up the second of the yeah, man's suitcases. And you've got another one inside another one. That's it, yeah. Well, that's what I'm going to carry with my hand luggage on a plane. Yeah, right, OK. Like really yeah, see, that, like the Russian doll. So what do you want me to do, smile now or what? The man is clearly in good spirits, but Lorinda must thoroughly check the contents of his cases. Right, am I going to find another one in this one? No, that's it. That's it, is it? That's it, yeah. Is it? This is all you've got for a couple yeah. of months' stay? I've got all my stuff over there. What, are your sisters? Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. After a meticulous search of the man's possessions, Lorinda is happy he's carrying nothing illegal and he's free to go. OK, Mr Hitchens. Everything's fine, yeah? Everything's wonderful, yeah. thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. OK. It's the first time I've ever been searched. I've been travelling all over the world. Yeah. So anyway, that's their job, because they could have found bombs on there, right? Explosives on there. Huh? So that's their job. Gatwick is the second busiest airport in the UK. With hundreds of flights arriving daily, there are thousands of bags that need to be checked. Drug detection dogs are employed to assess bags before they're reclaimed by passengers in the baggage hall. This afternoon, luggage is being scanned from a Lithuanian flight. And Officer Hazel finds one bag on the X-ray, which he suspects contains a large quantity of cigarettes. If the cigarettes have originated in the European Union, 
their allowance is 3,200. If they're non-EU cigarettes, they're only entitled to 200. So we have to work out where those cigarettes have come from. But until we speak to the passengers, we won't know. Once the bag is identified, it's placed back on the carousel for the passenger to pick it up. Officers will observe closely to see who collects it and then stop them for questioning. Hello there. Hello. Where have we just flown in from? Oh, yes. Just bring your bag. Are you travelling together? Yes. Yes, just bring your bags over here for me for a minute, please. Sorry. Do you have your passports, please? Yes. Do you speak English? No. Only one of the women speaks English, so she'll act as a translator for a friend. Do you have anything to declare to customs? No. Do you have any alcohol, cigarettes or tobacco yes, that you've yes. bought? I have uh, alcohol. OK. Can you ask her if she has any alcohol? No, she doesn't have any alcohol. What about cigarettes or tobacco? Uh, uh, yes, she has cigarettes. Oh, right, OK. How many? She has about ten. Cartons. Ten cartons. OK, let's have a quick look. Hazel knows from the X-ray that the passengers are lying about the number of cigarettes they're carrying, so she checks their suitcases for the evidence. If the cigarettes have been bought outside of the EU, they'll all be seized. Where did you buy these? In Lithuania? Yes. But the writing on the packets, along with the way in which the cigarettes have been packed, makes Hazel think otherwise. Why have you done this? I'm just wondering why she's wrapped them up in bras and things in her underwear. The ten cartons the women declared they're carrying is a gross underestimate. Four thousand five hundred. Well, it is four thousand two, four six, eight hundred and eighty. But it's not just the quantity that's concerning Hazel. I don't think that's Lithuanian writing. We will check. Translating the writing on the packets will give officers an idea about where the cigarettes have come from. Look at nicotine. Okay. The writing on the packets looks Russian. So that nicotine uh, is the Russian version. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they look Russian. Naughty people, they're Russians. With over 22 times the legal limit of cigarettes each, the goods will be seized from the women, unless they can prove they purchased them within the EU. It's not just passengers who attempt to smuggle illegal items. In the freight terminal, Officer Helen and Sniffer Dog Bren have just made a discovery on a batch of packages that have come in from Bridgetown in Barbados. About half an hour ago, we came down um, to go over the packages that have come in. We offload all of this from the pallet. We empty it all out onto the floor. The dogs can then run over it and they'll indicate if they need to. If they find something, they'll indicate. So showed interest in a, in a box, which we put out again, um, just so that he is uh, completely sure that it's there. And that's his indication there. And that's the box that I'm looking for. Bren's indication strongly suggests the package contains drugs. His indication there was uh, to freeze and to literally stare at the box. His tail sometimes wags a lot, whereas if, it's, um, if he's really, really focused on it, he literally be completely still. Gatwick's sniffer dogs play a vital role in intercepting drugs being illegally imported into the country. This is what's inside the box. Um, it doesn't really smell of anything. What, what the officer's got there is a, a cocaine reagent, and um, it normally comes out pink, but if it goes blue, then it tests positive. There we go. It's just gone blue straight away. It's, uh, it's tested positive to cocaine, so it's actually impregnated T-shirts or clothing uh, uh, with cocaine. Bren's partnership with Helen was only forged 12 months ago, but already the pair have made a huge number of detections, both in the freight terminal and on passengers. He's actually been quite successful for his first year. You're normally given a year or so to make sure that they know what they're looking for. They're the ascent libraries wide enough and uh, yeah he's done really well for his first year so I'm very very happy and very impressed. Run hub. Good lad, well done. Good boy. Back in the airport's south terminal 
Officer Hazel is still questioning the Lithuanian women who have both been found with 22 times their legal limit of cigarettes. These are Russian cigarettes. That means that you're only entitled to bring in 200 of them. You don't have the receipt, though. I understand, but I didn't know that I, 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 do, I, I need to have a receipt. So how much did you pay for all these? Well, you mean the cartoon? Well, for all of them, if you bought them all at the same time, you'd know how much you'd spend. No, we didn't bought the for at the same time. You see, if you don't have the money to buy them all at once, that suggests to me that you're bringing them here to sell them to make money. No, no, she Well, that, that's how it comes across to us as customs officers. So here you've got 4,800. How long will that take us to get through those? A few, few months. But Hazel has spotted something else that adds more doubt to the story. The number on the side here is exactly the same on all of these. On all of them. That would lead me to believe that you bought them all at the same time and that you bought them all in the same place. <laughs> 4,000. One, two, oh, three, so four. now she's bought them all at the same time, has she? So now you're changing your story. I didn't, you, I didn't have any story. You told me that she bought them on different days, and now you've just spoken to her again, and now you're changing what you're telling me. You can't expect me to believe you now. Because of the things you've told me and the things that we found out, we are seizing the cigarettes from you, OK? Seizing yours from you, seize your cigarettes from you. We believe that you're bringing them here to to sell. If you can provide me with the paperwork that proves that you bought them in Lithuania and that they're tax paid, that's a different matter. I tell you, I don't have anybody in Lithuania who still have my receipts, OK? The threat of losing yeah, her cigarettes cigarette. is making the woman argumentative. They were saying that I can bring 3,200. That's if you bring them in from a European Union country and that's where those cigarettes have originated from. These but haven't. They, These are Russian cigarettes. But we bought them in Lithuania, OK? And we bring but them... But you need to prove that to me. OK. Personally, I think they're probably here to sell them. Um, they're insistent that that's not the case, but she kept changing the things that she was saying to me about how and when they'd bought them, um, what quantities they'd bought them in, so none of it really made any sense, and she got quite cross by the end of it, I think. That's the way it goes. They're seized, so if she wants to complain, she can do. The man who attempted to bring cocaine into the UK by swallowing 41 packages pleaded guilty and was sentenced to six years in prison.